For a party hovering around 7% in the polls, the Lib Dems met here in surprisingly good mood. Even if Nick Clegg and dozens of their MPs might soon lose their seats. They've kept campaigning, even here. Um, I wanted to ask if you're going to be supporting us in the election. Next time, would Vince Cable prefer a coalition with Labour? You've got more friends in Labour. You're sort of that, that way, aren't you? They might give you a good job, might even make you Chancellor. You're not going not to be Chancellor under the Lib Dems. It's conceivable, but uh, no, but I, as you probably know, I've got a team of ministers, I've got six Tories in it. We managed to work together very well. So, it's, uh, so you'd not... be happy to carry on with that? I, I'm, I'm happy to do what the electorate come up with. Uh, I would prefer a coalition of whoever is prepared to put Europe first, to look internationally, is prepared to deal with fairness, who's prepared to get rid of the bedroom tax, who's prepared to build on the economy. How many seats are you going for, Lord Ashtown? Mind your own business. It is my business. <laughs> Listen, if you, if you think any party is going, is going to reveal to you, I will go. I will do, take your little bet, Master Crick, which is that um, we will get more seats than you can imagine. Thanks very much. <laughs> Labour and the Conservatives are deserting the centre ground. Nick Clegg roused them General with a defence of the Lib Dems moderation. in government, yet with strong attacks on his coalition oh, colleagues and potential colleagues also, accusing his rivals of sowing blame and division. It's in the angry nationalism of UKIP, setting citizen against citizen as they pander to fear. It's in Theresa May's go-home vans, in the glint in George Osborne's eye as he announces that the working age poor will bear the brunt of the cuts. It's in the red-faced bluster of those Tory right-wingers who are determined to scrap the Human Rights Act, Act and drag us out of Europe. It's in the us versus them scaremongering of the Labour Party as they condemn every decision to balance the books as a betrayal and then make wild predictions about mass unemployment or the death of the NHS that they know are not true. As the Conservatives and Labour parties veer off to the left and the right, who will speak up for decent, moderate, tolerant Britain? To those writing his party off again, he said, the Liberal Democrats were here to stay. If you want a stable government that won't lurch to the extremes of left or right, you have to vote for it. If you want a stronger economy and a fairer society, you have to vote for it. If you want a government that will create opportunities for everyone, vote Liberal Democrat. This is a fight for our future, for the decent values of our country. We can and we must win. Thank you very much.